Good morning, lovelies. Today we are answering the question, what is the difference between high fantasy and low fantasy? It has nothing to do with quality. I can promise you that right now. But before we get started, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos on fantasy, science fiction, and horror through a feminist lens. Also, if you can support this channel on Patreon, the link is in the description. So, What's the difference between high fantasy and low fantasy? It has nothing to do with plot or theme or characters. It is instead entirely in the setting. High fantasy, sometimes called epic fantasy, takes place in a totally different world separate from our own. The land, the geography, the cultures, they don't exist in reality. Because this is a setting requirement rather than a story requirement, high fantasy is an umbrella term for like a dozen more specific subgenres, many of which overlap with low fantasy. Children's adventure, dark fantasy, grim dark, romance, whatever. So examples of this would be Lord of the Rings, Brandon Sanderson's The Stormlight Archive, and Game of Thrones. On the other end, and low fantasy takes place in our world with magical elements thrown into it. If you are a fan of, say, urban fantasy or paranormal romance or magical realism, all of those fall under the low fantasy umbrella. This would be something like Percy Jackson or American Gods. Now there is, of course, a gray area. What if a story starts and ends in the real world, but the meat of it takes place in an epic fantasy world like Narnia or The Wizard of Oz? Well, I would argue that that would be high fantasy with a framing sequence because Narnia and Oz aren't anywhere on Earth. Ah, but what about Harry Potter, which takes place primarily at Hogwarts, which doesn't exist? Well, that would be low fantasy because Hogwarts, although fake, is still on Earth. Basically, if the characters can say throughout the course of the story that they are on this planet, regardless of whatever else is going on, it is low fantasy. The minute that they step off of planet Earth onto a totally different world, it's high fantasy. Now this may seem like a really stupid distinction and why the hell did I dedicate all the time and energy to make an entire video about it? Well, fantasy is such a huge genre that we have to break it up into multiple different subgenres. That way writers can find their audience and audiences can find the stories that they actually like. I personally have no preference over high or low fantasy, but I have multiple friends who cannot stand one or the other, or they vastly prefer epic fantasy to low fantasy, or vice versa. The distinction between high and low helps them find the stories that they actually want to get invested in, and helps the writers find them. Everyone wins. Tell me which genre you prefer in the comments and your favorite books in those genres. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you can, check out my Patreon page. That link is in the description. Bye, lovelies.